What's up guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are unboxing my Ipsy box. I just recently subscribed to this. I am paying, I believe, around 25-ish, $30 a month for the Glam Bag Putt Plus. But basically, what you get are two Ipsy picks as far as products go, and then three full-size products that you pick yourself. Everything is based around your interests, what your likes are, what your skin type is, what you, what type of makeup you wear, and so they center the Ipsy bag and your choices around you. The box is super cute though, I love the color, very summery. And then it says discover yourself on the inside, they have some packing foam. Okay, so this is the bag of all of my Ipsy picks in it. This is the bag of the month. I love how it looks like little cacti and um, plants and then like these little lips here. I love the color. It would be great to just use for my skincare or my makeup to just like throw in my bag while I go on vacation. So our first item that I got is the Victoria Beckham Beauty Future Lash Smudge Free Lifting Mascara, which is right here. Really pretty packaging. I just love how it's basic and simple. Very elegant though with the white and the black. So the value on this mascara is $28. You get 4.8 milliliters which is a full size, it's mascara, made with jet black pigments, a conditioning formula that is good for your lashes. Mascara creates dram dramatic volume, lift and length that lasts for hours without smudging, running, or swearing, swearing, smearing. Um, how to use it, swipe the inner corner of the brush from lash roots to tip, pump up the volume by adding more coats. It's vegan and cruelty free, which we love. Created by fashion and beauty icon Victoria Beckham, shout out Spice Girls, Posh Spice, and longtime beauty ex exec Sarah Creel, Victoria Beckham Beauty is a streamlined collection of high performance products. So as far as the reviews go, um, it has four and a half stars, there's 1200 reviews. A couple of the first reviews, one says the texture and color are beautiful, not a fan of the wand. Um, the other one says, good for a natural look, doesn't do much else. Formula is flexible and feels good on lashes. Did not see much flaking. Great. Um, such nice packaging. The wand is very thin, good for detailing. So this could be a really good bottom mascara. Um, and then someone said, at first I wasn't thrilled to be getting yet another mascara, but this one is really good. I love how the brush separates the lashes for a more natural look and the length was noticeable after the first swipe. I had no smudges or clumping. This one took me by surprise. I really like it. It might seem silly, but to me, even the feel and weight of the tube feels like this is a higher quality product. And I definitely can agree with that statement. It is just does feel so heavy. It looks luxury. It just has a really nice feel to it. So the wand is super small. They were not lying about that. It smells like mascara would basically. I definitely wear mascara on a daily basis with or without any other makeup on. That is just one thing. I, I feel like if you don't have any mascara on, you're, I, if I don't have any mascara on, I look like a naked mole rat and <laughs> I just don't feel put together. So it's on all the time. The next thing is the Trestique Color and Contour Bronzer stick in Brazilian bronze. So that is here. So this reminds me, I used to have a contour stick and I don't know if it's the same one. It kind of looks like it is. Um, and I did really like it. I usually for contour just do a powder, but I'm excited to try this uh, formula because I do like a good cream formula. So it's paraben free, synthetic, fragrance free, cruelty free, gluten free, talc free, vegan, which is great. Oh, nice and big, good color. Actually, this color would probably work for me quite well. It's a little warm, but not too bad. 
yeah, I really like it. It's really nice and smooth. I love how it comes in like a, a pencil type shape. Also too, when you put this on, it like catches, like there's a magnet, so it catches, which is really nice. And oh, there's a brush inside. Oh, okay. So this brush is pretty stiff, really small. I don't know necessarily if I'll use this brush when blending out, I'll probably just use a um, sponge, but you never know. Let's read the reviews on this and the why you'll love it. Value is $28. It's a full-size product that we're getting with 0.21 ounces. It's a bronzer. The two-in-one bronzing and contouring stick sculpts your features and gives skin a natural looking glow. It has a creamy buildable bronze color on one end and built an angled contour brush on the other for easy blending. We'll see about that. <laughs> How to use. Apply to areas where sunlight would naturally hit your face, forehead, nose, cheeks, and then blend with a built-in brush. More reasons why you'll love it. The magnetic cap stays put, which that is definite plus. I love that, even if it's bouncing around at the bottom of your bag. About the brand. Trestiques line of multitasking products allows you to get ready in five minutes anywhere anytime I do love how there is a brush on the other side of the bronzer I just like I said I don't know if I'll use it but I do really really like that it is great for traveling because if you don't want to bring a ton of brushes you could easily you you know just get away with not bringing a, a separate contour brush because you have the brush on the end of it as far as reviews go there's four stars in 64 almost 65,000 reviews um, the first review says is a very good blend but it's on the drier side which I didn't really think that when I put it on my wrist it definitely dries down I can tell with that it looks like one of those bronzers, cream bronzers, where you kind of have to work fast. Otherwise, if you don't, you'll just have that line as to where you put it. Um, the next review said, color was perfect and love the brush on the other end. Okay. Um, next review is a one star. They said, I love the idea of the two-in-one, but cream contour and bronzers are not for me. Don't look good on my oily skin. Need powder bronzers, please. So I don't know necessarily if this deserved a one star because of that because it's more so the person i'm really excited to use, use this like i said i've been using powder contour for a really long time but that doesn't mean i can't switch back to cream so we'll see so the next product in my bag on the list is the grace and stella dead sea mud mask which i'm assuming is right here okay we're gonna have to take this bad boy out i have been into skincare a lot recently I'm really trying to get a good routine down so I can avoid going to um, get a facial every single month so I can just like push it out to every couple months. Um, but my skin has come a long way with just doing like regular facials, derma planning, like just a ton of different spa treatments, but it does get a little pricey after a while. So that's why I'm really trying to focus on finding a really great routine. All right, so the Grace and Stella mud deep sea mud mask meet bud your skin's new best friend i love the packaging it's just a soft pink color it almost looks yeah it's definitely like an ombre so it says as far as directions apply a thick layer to face avoiding eye area light let dry for 15 minutes rinse off mask with warm water and pat dry with a towel follow up with moisturizer also my husband will do masks with me too so i bet he would do this one and then my stepdaughters would like this too probably they're both teenagers, so a good mask for them is probably best. All right, so I get a full size of at 120 milliliters. It's a $20 value. Product type face mask. What it does, detox, purify, and fortify your skin with a Dead Sea Mud and Kaolin, Kaolin clay infused mask. It absorbs ex excess oil and debris from pores. Increases circulation for a rosy glow and gives your complexion the vitamins and nutrients it needs to thrive. How to use it? Apply a layer to clean skin. Leave it on for 15 minutes and rinse well with warm water. More reasons you'll love it. It's cruelty-free and all-natural, which we love. Um, about the brand, they believe in delivering 
you some me time in pampering through exceptional, high quality, cruelty free, certified products that are 100% vegan. Um, so as far as reviews go, there's four and a half stars and only 429 reviews. Love that it doesn't dry my skin out and makes it feel soft. Then someone said that was the dullest mask ever, three thumbs down. Um, cutest packaging, which I agree. Unfortunately, I have makeup on right now to be able to try this product, but it is packaged so neatly, even comes with an applicator stick. Oh, that's awesome. It also smells divine and looks like a good consistency, not too thick, not, but not runny. So excited to try it tonight. Um, next comment and the last one I'll read, feels so refreshing and good, leave skin soft and moisturized. Well, I am ready for it ready for it. I definitely think I might want to use this tonight though. Oh, it's so cute. I love the pink. See how it smells. You can feel like it's cold on the inside and I think it's from the clay. So here's the little scoop right here. Oh, okay. It's greenish in color. It smells really good. Oh my God. Nice and fresh, but really soft. Wow, that's awesome. I'm definitely gonna be trying this tonight. Next is the Akar, Akar, Akar. I don't know how to say that. Pure lip restoration. I have the hardest time getting my lips to not be dry. Um, it's not because I don't drink enough water. I drink only water usually and some tea here and there. Um, but my skin, and my lips tend to be pretty dry because of the climate that I live in. So anything that I see that is gonna help my lips, I usually go for. This is our Akar Lip Restoration. I love the color of the packaging. Super cute, it says pure lip restoration, made with integrity, natural, non-toxic, cruelty-free, mineral oil fragrance, synthetic fragrance-free, synthetic preservative-free. Says Tibetan inspired skincare, a lightweight, creamy treatment guaranteed to provide instant hydration for dry and chapped lips. Antioxidant, antioxidants help to fight sun-induced oxidative stress, oxidative stress and lessen the appearance of lines. And smells of freshly brewed rose, orange tea, or our lip restoration is made of pure plant-based ingredients and free of min mineral oil. Definite must have if your lips are prone to chapping and cracking me me that's me 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 okay let's check out this oh it's cute all right so the value is thirty dollars for this little thing so it better work <laughs> um i do get a full size 0.17 ounce it's a lip treatment this creamy yet lightweight balm uses plant oils and beeswax to seal moisture into your lips for long lasting hydration and nourishment. Use it throughout the day or as an overnight treatment for lips that feel soft and supple. It does feel really good once it's on your lips and you can smell it. It smells really good. How to use it, apply to lips as needed. It can be worn alone or under your favorite lip color. I feel like if you were to wear it under your favorite lip color, it might make whatever you're planning on putting over a little slick because it does feel kind of slick. Um, more reasons you'll love it. It's all natural and cruelty free. About the brand, Akar, Akar Skin is committed to delivering the purest nutrient dense products created with only one thing in mind, your wellness. Reviews, four and a half stars out of five with 581 reviews. I love this as soon as I rub it on my lips, instantly my lips feel so hydrated. I definitely have to agree. Um, no shrunk scent, which is great, but, it ta but it's a little too thick for my taste. I didn't think it was too thick at all, honestly. It has no smell like it says it does, and it's ugly. Interesting. Okay, I would disagree. <laughs> um, I am a sucker for anything that makes my lips feel soft, same. This is one of them, a little goes a long way. Definitely agree on that. Um, my favorite lip treatment mask balm, everything. This is perfect. If you thought that lo the Laneige lip sleeping mask is amazing, please check this one out. Which I have heard so many things about the Laneige lip mask to where I've almost went to Sephora or Ulta, wherever they have it. Basically, I was gonna track down whatever store had it and get it, but I'm glad I got this in my Ipsy bag because I definitely wanna give this a go for a while before I 
get anything else. All right, so my next one is the Vita Brid C12 Vitamin C Dual Drop Serum. So it comes in this super white and pretty packaging. I love a good white packaging though. It says Dual Drop Serum, age defying and deep hydration, which is gonna be great for my dry skin that I have in this climate. A blend of Vita Brid CG, which is stabilized vitamin C and peptides reduces signs of aging and bright, brightens skin tone while providing deep hydration, which is something I feel like I definitely need because I am aging. I'm 31. Okay, we are getting up there. Okay. So, bottle is cute. Looks like a regular serum bottle. Directions. Apply an appropriate amount to the face and neck, then gently tap into the skin until it is well absorbed. I have to remember that with uh, my serums every time I like, before I use my ginger serum is to like tap it into my face, not rub it into my face. But anyways, excited to use this. Let's see what Ipsy has to say. Um, the value is $62, size is 30 milliliters, full size, which is considered full size. It's a facial serum. The serum is packed with a stable form of vitamin C, a powerhouse antioxidant that helps brighten and even your complexion while protecting against aging free radical damage. How to use it with clean hands. Press a nickel size amount into your face and neck both morning and night. Okay. More reason you'll love it. It's made with anti-aging peptides to help your skin feel brighter, firmer, and more hydrated. About the band, brand Vita Brid C12 is a biotech company, meaning they take the science of skin care seriously. So there are almost 25,000 reviews, and it's a four and a half star review out of five. Um, one person said, I really like the feel of it, this. It's airy, like smells, like smells good, works well under makeup. Okay, that's good to hear. It's anti-aging, which isn't something I really need, but it's beautiful packaging. Well, your girl needs it. This girl does. Okay. Um, I love this brand. I've been wanting a vitamin C serum forever. I'm glad this was in my bag. Someone said, not a bad serum. Too soon to see if it really helps yet, but my face felt nice after using it. Okay, that's fair. I am surprised by the clear bottle since it's a vitamin C serum. I feel like it should be in a darker bottle so it lasts longer. Face feels really moisturized, but not oily. Okay, good. I definitely don't want my skin to be oily because I do tend to get oily throughout the day because I especially in my T-zone area, and I use um, CC creams with sunscreen in them. I don't, I used to use like really heavy, long lasting foundation, which I will occasionally use. I have the Infallible the, by Revlon, I believe for moments like that. But other than that, I usually do the It Cosmetic CC cream or the um, knockoff, the dupe for that, which is the e.l.f. CC cream that they just came out with. Um, but yeah, I try to avoid any like full coverage heavy foundations. I just find that CC creams are a lot better for my skin because my skin is so sensitive. Okay, so next what we're going to do, we are going to take a look at the refreshments. And when I did Ipsy a really long time ago, they didn't have these refreshments thing. But this one that they sent me is the self-care starter kit. A dynamic du duo formulated to banish boring. Just one wipe removes grime and makeup without drying out your skin nourish skin nails and cuticles with quick absorbing hydration from our luscious hand cream which i definitely need a good hand cream right now because i have been using so much sanitizer sanitizer for my hands that honestly my skin is like hating me okay so it comes in this really cute bag. I realized I took everything out before I actually showed you the bag. It's a nice like pink and neon yellow. Um, and then you get a little sticker pad, it looks like. Nice reflective stickers. Show us how you get funky. Who doesn't love a little solo party? Share your proudest, quirkiest, glam glammiest me time moments with refreshments party. And then it says, welcome to your party for one. Get ready to jazz things up. So the self-care starter kit is cleansing face wipes, luscious hand cream. Um, the face wipes are face wipes are 100% biodegradable, ophthalmologist tested. I don't think I said that right. 
luscious hand cream, shea butter, grapeseed oil, olive oil, non-greasy hydration, clean, vegan, and cruelty-free ingredients. And then it just says how, it just talks about how my uh, membership works, saying that refreshments will ship free every month with your glam bag, no strings attached, you're in control, relax your refreshment, refreshments are on the way. So this is something that Etsy might have, must have just like created themselves, huh? Like this is their brand. Deodorant, which I definitely think I wanna try. They have shaving cream, body wash, body cream, face wipes, they have a razor, hand cream, and that looks like everything. But you get 20 to 30% off when you buy from them if you're a member. Good to know, okay. So face wipes, I usually don't use face wipes. I do micellar water, but I'm definitely gonna try these out. Um, I noticed that if I don't actually wash my face after using a face wipe, I will break out. Um, so definitely always wash your face. Actually wash your face with a cleanser after a face wipe. It just removes your makeup. It actually doesn't clean your face. Um, it says rinse-free removal of makeup, dirt, and oil. Leave skin feeling fresh and hydrated. I think when I wasn't washing my face after, I was just clogging my pores. I was just being really lazy and I didn't care to wash my face. And then vegan and free of parabens. Okay, and then we have the luscious hand cream, citrus spritz. I'm actually going to use some right now. A luscious drink for thirsty hands. Soak it soak it all in nourishes skin nails and cuticles quick absorbing non-greasing hydration our sparkling clean promise always vegan and free of parabens the packaging is super cute really girly you girls thick it's a hand cream though so that's to be expected hand creams always remind me of my grandmother always reminds me of my grandmother the citrus is really subtle feels nice and soft a little definitely goes a long way I think I put like a pea size in my palm the, you can smell the citrus more when you start rubbing your hands together than you actually do when you first pump it into your palm it smells really good though mm, I'm gonna have to stick that in my purse because I am just about out of hand cream well that is all for you today, guys. Let me know how you liked this video. I think I'm gonna start doing these every time I get an Ipsy bag. I have a lot of fun looking at makeup, skincare, everything in the beauty world and reviewing it. I will definitely give you guys updates. I am so far really impressed with my glam bag. Oh, what I wanted to do though, I almost forgot, was to tell you how much everything was. So. The serum was 62 the skin lip was $30, I believe. The mud mask was 20 so 62 plus 30 is 92 plus 20 is 112 plus another 20 is 132 plus, I think the mascara is another 20 so 150 bucks for right around $30 a month. You definitely can't beat it, and you get full-size amounts. A product too like that's awesome serums are really expensive so the fact that you can get a full-size product to test it basically for next to nothing I think this is a really great deal Ex especially when it comes to skincare skincare always tends to be a little well I think it tends to be a little pricier than um, makeup usually is and then I love this refreshments thing too that you get when you are in the glam bag plus like I am I think this is really definitely going to come in handy I'm for sure taking these next month with me to Las Vegas but and then you get two cute little bags that everything comes in so that is my review for my first ipsy glam bag plus I'm really excited I can't wait to get my next bag and yeah I feel like I'm just gonna have like a little date night with myself and pamper myself so what's up guys so i just put on my grace and stella face mask the dead sea mud mask and so far i really like it it's kind of burning not burning but i can feel it kind of right around here um i did exfoliate my face 
two before I did this and I shaved my face as well. So that might be something to do with kind of it just kind of really seeping into my skin and me filling it. But so far, so good. We'll see how my skin is after. I gotta leave it on for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to do the serum that I got. I will check back with you after. Okay, so I just wiped the mud mask off and honestly, looking into like the big mirror, my skin it looks so glowy and just like bright. And it probably doesn't look like it on this camera, <laughs> on this phone camera. But honestly, I really think, and it's soft. My skin is super soft. I think it did a really good job. So next I'm going to put on my Vita, ba Vita Brid C12 Dual Drop Serum see how that goes and then I'm um, gonna put my Acar, Acar, Acar skin lip treatment on my lips okay so I just put the serum on honestly it feels kind of sticky when you like tap it in but then it kind of just like quickly dries and it doesn't feel so sticky anymore it feels really nice and light and then I'm using um the lip treatment now, which I used earlier when I was unboxing, and I really like it. It feels really good. I'm just like putting it everywhere. I basically think I did everything that I can do right before bed. So this is all finished. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know this is a little different from my usual content, but I will be doing this every time I have an Ipsy glam bag because duh. I will also update you guys on the next video about the um, other products that I, I didn't use in this video, like the mascara or and the contour. Um, cream contour stick thing. I'll let you guys know how that is going in the next video. And yeah, I really loved my Ipsy, my first Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry if this lighting sucks. Bye!